Hi Aries, it's Jo from Angels and Ancestors and Darlings. This is your What The Fuck reading, 6th to the 12th of September. It's very nice to be back. I've missed doing this for everybody. Um, just know that these readings are general readings. They won't resonate with everybody. Uh, please like, share and subscribe. If you're already subscribed and you're not getting notifications, unsubscribe and then hit the bell and go to all notices and then you should get the notifications of the uh, readings coming up um, there isn't any real announcements to make for uh, this week um, so let's just get on with your reading so can I have a card please for Aries an energy card So the 12th of September, please. Oh, they're being tight, aren't they? An energy card for Aries, please. Yeah, I said I. I'm going to take that one for you, Aries, because it popped up, but it didn't fall out. So, my darlings, broken, open. I love this card. I think that you're suddenly having um, a lot of spiritual experiences where you appear to be grounded but growing um, immensely. And broken, open means that you are open to information, you are open to spirit, you are open to... Um, aligning your chakras you are open to the possibility that there is more out there than you have ever imagined in your life um it could be that you've been one of these areas that it's seeing is believing and all of a sudden um, little things are happening within your world your cosmos if you like that is kind of giving you some indication that there is a shift for you and that shift will be a spiritual shift it will be a healing shift and it will be a spiritual experience for you it is a beautiful beautiful card the two and the eight make a ten which is the ending of a cycle and then a ten breaks down to a one and that is your new beginning um, broken open is just a beautiful beautiful card so Let's get on with your what the fuck reading. Can I have what started the what the fuck for Aries? 6th to the 12th of September, please. Thank you. Manifestation and wish fulfillment, please. For Aries. Movement journey, oh, where Aries needs to be. And of course they're on the floor, aren't they? Why would it be movement and journey? can do about the situation for Aries please what can Aries do about this situation thank you what is out of Aries hands the 6th to the 12th of September
reconnecting to their true selves for Aries place. Okay, my darling, so what started your what the fuck? You've got nature. Now, when you get major cold, it does mean that some changes are happening around you. But this particular change needs to come in. You're self-limiting and self-restricting completely against Aries nature. Um, but I'm getting the essence that you feel that you need to either stay entrapped in what it is that you're doing in order for you not to get hurt um aries that's no way to live there is somebody around you that is saying to you let it go come and dance with the wood nymphs let it go just release that trap release the binds that hold you um and come and have a dance come and have a play because uh, that bear's looking at you going i ain't putting my bloody foot in that trap you've got to be joking um and they're not having none of it and it could be that with the three of the thames now is the time to walk away from this feeling now is the time for you to just walk away and not look back at what it is um that is your perception of how either you've been hurt or something some major thing has happened to make you want to restrict yourself and i'm going to say around your emotions i'm going to say this is something that um is going to be to do with a and do you know me i don't do love readings i don't but i have to say uh when i saw this and i just saw the broken open i was like oh goodness i think you're trying to not connect to your feelings you don't mind the passion and the desire, but to go deeper with feelings, to let somebody in to those feelings is difficult. And you're entrapping yourself to stop that from happening. You're limiting yourself from that happening. So there could be connections there that you have got, that you are walking away from because it appears that it may be hurtful to you. It's now time to walk away from this restriction massively time because lovely is facing your fears and taking your power back you've got the power to do this you've got the um world tree now the world tree its roots go deep the branches splay out over night and day and all seasons so this is telling me that this may have been going on for a year or so for you but now this card has come out it's saying take your power back stand strong shed old skin let it go and just call it in what you want it is the second best card in the deck this is second best only to the sun card you have got what it takes to make life happen for you you know who this person is and because i'm looking at them in your manifestation your wish fulfillment you know who it is that you want and where you want to be and you've restricted yourself and I'm kind of getting the essence that perhaps this other person also walked away. Um, it wasn't just you that walked away. They made a decision that they were going to walk away. But they're saying now it's your turn to walk away. If you want this, it's t time now to walk away from this restriction in order for you to step into your power. Take your power back and get your manifestation and your wish fulfillment. It's not a fact, darlings. You are manifesting the Queen of Athames. Now, this is going to be an air sign, Aquarius, Gemini, or Libra, or somebody who's got that in their charts that's quite predominant. Um, she is male or female, a queen who has a weapon, and she's not frightened of using it. She will cut out what no longer serves her. Whether it hurts her or not, she will not stay in a situation that will just keep cutting her to the quick. She just won't take it. Um, she won't take any nonsense. They don't take prisoners. They don't do he said, she said. They don't get into playground stuff. They want to make a decision. And if they are left feeling like they are not an option instead of the answer, they're not going to be around. 
they're not going to be around so if you are manifesting this person if you are manifesting somebody who is as strong as you Aries who has got um the ambition that you've got not necessarily around career but ambition to have a good strong relationship then i'm getting that you know who this is you know who this is male or female because you're manifesting that you're calling this person in you are calling them in so your movement your journey where the fuck you need to be you've also got the king of a famous this is a power couple you know it's a power couple you know this is your soulmate um and you are trying to stand in this king energy um this no nonsense king this i will cut everything out before i get hurt and that's what you've been doing um against your passion and your desire and i'm kind of getting that this this king is also very like the queen highly intelligent usually comes from a legal background there could be a legal situation around you that needs sorting before you can make the final move towards your queen um but there is a new beginning in the offing ace of pentacles and this is telling me that there is a change just around the corner um you've been waiting patiently my darlings but it's finally coming and uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, this is going to be a change around your finances. It's going to be a change around your career and a change around your home life. Probably a combination of all three of those. But right now, darlings, you are sitting wondering where the fuck your other chalice is, where it's gone, where what when it's going to come to you. I'm getting the feeling that you just need to turn around, that you just need to be aware that this person that you're calling in hasn't gone anywhere they're still around you they are still accessible to you even if you've lost communication with them um this is not a closed door this is a half open door um and i'm getting that both of you are thinking about each other i'm getting there's no communication but i'm getting that you're never far from each other's um thoughts and feelings that's why you've got two air signs because they're stuck in the head and i'm getting that with this chalices you are you're not fed up you're just wondering where the fuck everything's gone where it is you know and, and what it is that you can do to make that door open fully so what you can do about this situation oh my goodness king of pentacles now my lovelies I am going to hazard a guess, male or female, that you are going to be a business person. You're going to be the head of projects or plans or you're going to have your own business as a CEO or a director. Um, you sit very comfortably in your own skin. You've done everything that you've wanted to do and some more and you have made things come to fruition. Now it's your turn to do that for other people. Um, and in sitting there, you look over your kingdom and you sit there with great pride knowing that you offer this out to other people. And in comes the Queen of Chalices. Darlings, it's time to heal. This is what this Queen brings in. She brings in the ocean because she knows that your healing is ongoing. It's never going to be completely healed over. But you need to let that water wash it away from you. Fill your chalice up with your wants and needs and then divert yourself away from situations that no longer serve you. And I'm getting that this is a hurt from the past. This is a hurt from the past that is not allowing the future to come in just yet. It's there and you're wondering where the fuck it is. But it, this is a hurt from the past. You, you've done brilliantly in business stakes. You have done brilliantly in your um, friend world. But in your relationship world, I'm kind of getting that. You've forgotten the healing bit. You've forgotten about what it is that you want out of a relationship. And you've forgotten that it's okay to divert away from something that you feel is not, not for you. 
So, my lovelies, what is out of your hands? You've got the Lord and the Lady. Yes, in other decks, this is the Lover's card. It's out of your hands at the moment because the universe is holding it for you. They're saying they want you to do this healing and walk away from this feeling of everything's going to hurt because they're saying, uh-uh, this is a power couple coming in. This is even Stevens. This is equality in its purest form. You are going to both bring the equal amount of feeling, love, whatever it is that you're looking for. You're both bringing it to the table. But the universe is saying it's out of your hands for the time being because you need to do this healing. You need to let things go and stand in this power and know that you can have what you want. I'm getting that you are calling this person in. I'm not even... I don't even get that you really understand how manifestation works. You're just thinking about this person going, I wish I'd done this or I wish I hadn't done that. No, no, no. If you want to call this person in, call them in properly. Call them by name and call them back to you. Call them back to you. What's the worst that could happen? That they're going to walk away, you're going to walk away, that they're not what you think that they are. But how are you going to know? Are you going to regret this for the rest of your life if you don't call them back into you? My guess is, is that that's exactly what you will feel. Now, reconnecting to your true self, Aries, for goodness sake, the nine of wands. Darlings, please stop being so fucking prickly. Please stop slapping your hands on that table and going, I fucking dare you. I dare you. I dare you to come near me. That's exactly what you're doing. And that poor fairy has just jumped out of her skin. Um, it's like, these are my wands. I'm keeping them. You're not having them. I'm protecting myself at all costs. Darlings, there's somebody whispering in your ear that's making you feel like that. Don't allow them to do that because what you really want, what you truly want is this connection, this two of chalices. This is a celebration of a partnership. Now, it can be a love partnership, and I'm getting an essence that that is what you want. It could be business. It could be family. But I am getting that right now, you're not going to make that reconnection of what you truly want if you're going to stay in that prickly essence that you've got going on around you. Darlings, your outcome, don't keep overstretching for ones that are out of reach. They all belong to you. They are all equal. There is no one wand that is better than the other wand. They are exactly the same. But you are overstretching yourself. You're above that damn fire. You're putting yourself at risk. They are all yours. They're your choices, your options, your blessings. You can choose one. You can choose all seven. But whatever you do, allow the moon to illuminate a truth or an untruth? Is there an illusion around you? Do you need a pathway lighting up before you so you can understand what it is that you need to do? Things that stay in shadow don't need your attention, but things that are lit up by the moon do need your attention. Do not then look at the distortions in the water. What you're looking for is illumination. What is hidden from it all? Two of Wands, quest. You want to go out on a quest. You want to experience something brand new with somebody else. You are willing to leave your comfort zone. I don't think you know that right now. But you are going to be, when you connect with this other person, you are going to be willing to go out on a quest. And experience something that you've never experienced before. You are massively going to leave your comfort zone. You're going to find it exciting, exhilarating, passionate, desirable. All of those things. Um, yeah. I can't believe how many call cards you've got. You've got one, two, three, you've got four court cards and you've got one two three four five and five major arcana in this reading i have to say darlings i do honestly 
going on for you and it is going to involve this person um, that you're thinking of. The one that got away is what I've just heard. I don't think it's a very nice saying actually, the one that got away. It makes it sound like you want to trap somebody. Don't do that. Let it come naturally. Manifest it, wish fulfill it, all of that sort of stuff. Anything else for Aries, please? Okay. So the cards that came out, you have Mirror Guardian. Take time to reflect. Animal Guardian. Trust your instincts. Hermit, release, I want to retreat and recharge. And then you've got wise one. Grow within your current situation. And you have elder. Move beyond ancestral patterns. Do not repeat the past. Darlings, that is your reading 6th to the 12th of September. I hope you're doing well wherever you are. Please be safe and I will catch you in next week's reading. Bye for now.